two little known tests that tell you everything you need to know about heart disease decades before you ever have heart disease. I'm Dr. Allo, I'm a double board certified cardiologist. I wrote the textbook on cholesterol that every person in the world who wants to learn about cholesterol, lipids, lipidology, and wants to know how to treat and prevent heart disease to begin with, reads my book. The first test is called the apolipoprotein B, or we call it ApoB for short. ApoB, this is your LDL particle, ApoB is a structural protein that travels through it and holds it kind of together. Not just LDL particles, but chylomicrons, VLDLs, um, intermediate uh, DLs like IDLs, and you know several other ones, lipoprotein A, for example. All of those have one single apolipoprotein B particle on them. When you measure ApoB, it gives you a concentration or a total amount of all of the atherogenic particles that are in your bloodstream. So we will know with pretty much absolute certainty how many, how much ApoB you have, which directly correlates with how much atherosclerosis you are going to have decades later, because this is atherosclerosis. It takes forever to build up unless your numbers are super high. Recent studies have shown that if your numbers are in the three to 500 range, you can build significant plaque volume pretty quickly. So there's that. You need an apolipoprotein B. You do not need to be fasting for this. Being fasted or not makes no difference. The second one, which you have to know, is something called a lipoprotein A. So you have apolipoprotein B and lipoprotein A, which is another apolipoprotein on the particles. You have an LDL particle here. There's a Kringle on it, which makes it three to six times more atherogenic. If you get both of these tests, you will know with absolute certainty what your risk of developing heart disease, heart disease is, as well as aortic valve disease, aortic calcific, calcific aortic valve stenosis, decades later. Follow me, learn a lot more cardiology.